What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Cut a Punch Boxing News, and I got some new news concerning Anthony Joshua and Jarrell Big Baby Miller. You know, I haven't had time to really break down the, the beef between those two, and it started back in July when the launch of the zone, when um, Prevectin, when it was announced when Anthony Joshua was taken on Prevectin for the first um, fight on the zone, okay? And Jarrell Big Baby Miller got in his face. Of course, we know that. A lot of people thought it was false or bogus or whatever. But, you know, I didn't really have time to really break down the history of the beef. The history of the beef was that, according to Anthony Joshua, of course, I'll leave the link in the description box below. You know, um, Anthony Joshua was saying that Jarrell Big Baby Miller, when they weren't on camera, he was smiling and, hey, man, what's good? I oh, appreciate you. You're good champion. But then in front of people like he did at the, the zone launch, you know, he wanted to turn up and turn out. So, uh, you know, Anthony Joshua was basically like in this interview, he was basically explaining like, hey, you know, you know, you're crossing the line with me and I'm not two faced it. So once you you know, say the certain things you're responsible for your actions. So if you're going to talk that you're going to have to back it up with these fists. So, you know, um, so basically he's calling Jarrell Miller two faced it, you know what I mean? Because he's not going to come up and shake his hand and then, you know, and then, uh, turn up in front of the public and say, it's just for, you know, publicity or just to sell a fight. He's not that type of dude because he, you know, you know, he backs things up with his fist instead of talking as much. That's why he doesn't want to talk as much as he does. And it makes sense. You know what I mean? Some people, if you notice certain people when I grown up, you know, um, I grew up to know certain people that didn't say shit. But those are the people that will knock you out. Those are the people that will get in your shit. Those are the people that will kill you. Those type of people, you know, they're not really about talking. They're about creating and producing action. You know what I'm saying? It's like. Those people are the doers, you know, like <laughs> that reminds me of that Mark Wahlberg and rock movie. Um, I forget the name of it, but, you know, he was a doer. I think it was like tough enough or something like that. But um, he was definitely a doer. He's a thing. He's a person of action. And, <clears throat> you know, and I think this is this fight in, in uh, New York. I think this is Anthony Joshua's rebuttal to Jarrell Big Baby Miller. You know, a guy that's, you know, that's screaming for the uh, chance at the title, you know, that with him talking as much, it has got him this far to at least be, be considered along with the idiocracy of, you know, DW. Right. Which I won't mention. All right. Because uh, I think I've said enough about that guy. But anyway, you know, it, the uh, interview went on for to um, Anthony Joshua embracing the culture of, you know, American cinema, music, you know, the people here, you know, um, going to different places. He loves America. It is not the fact that, you know, he didn't ever plan to fight in America. It was just I feel that Lennox Lewis was trying to get him to fight in America with particular people that I promised I wouldn't mention. OK, so. Um, so, yeah, that really him seeing Canelo knock out Rocky Fielding really gave him a spark, especially in Madison Square Garden, you know, along with the interaction that he <clears throat> went through with the with the American people, you know, and he, he gels with pretty much anybody anyway. You know what I'm saying? So he liked it. So he got a good vibe here. You know, along with that, you throw that in the pot along. You, you season that in with uh, Jarrell Big Baby Miller screaming, you know, bitch, pussy and all this prick talking all this this stuff you know but later on behind closed doors want to shake his hand you know and aj's like hey it's not that type of party so you know that's really getting him in a sweet getting him lined up for sweet stakes so it's it's pretty it's a good thing or it's a bad thing you know if jarell miller can you know back it up he can back it up you know uh, you know i mean he's a big boy he's big baby miller he cracks jokes he's charismatic i like jarell big baby miller because i know what he's doing He's doing it for the right reasons. He's doing it to actually fight, not for some other hidden agenda. He's he's coming in. He's talking smack. He's disrespecting AJ. He's a line. He, you know, he's crossing the line. He's stepping over the line. Right. He's a habitual line stepper. You know what I'm saying? 
So he's doing that for a reason, though, you know, to take a shot at the un, that uh, uh, at the unified title. OK, titles, plural. So, you know, um, so it does look good and I look forward to it as long as it's not the same fighters. That's my only problem with, you know, with AJ and Eddie Hearn, with the talks, the potential talks of them uh, talking about Dion, um, not him, <laughs> uh, Dillian White or, you know, some other person that he's already fought. You know what I mean? Klitschko would be a good one, though, because, you know, Klitschko never had his rematch, but it was up to Klitschko to rematch or not. So it was his choice. So I get that. But like fighting Dillian White to me, no. You know, I wouldn't want to see that. But Jarrell Big Baby Miller, a guy young, hungry, you know, confident, Brooklyn, right? <clears throat> Undefeated. You know what I mean? So um, it, it looks like a good fight. I, I would go for it. Why not? Madison Square Garden, Brooklyn, Barclay Center. You know, but I think AJ would probably be in Madison Square Garden, something, you know, a bigger venue, you know, a more, you know, um, <clears throat> well known than you like the Barclays Center is well known. I love the Barclays Center. You know, I go up there, I watch the fights at the Barclays Center. Nothing mad respect, mad love for the Barclays Center. But, you know, I think if he was gonna do it, it'd probably be in Madison Square Garden where he's seen Canelo fight. You know what I'm saying? Well, cause that's you know, he's seen the lights, he's seen the energy and stuff, you know, the New York fans. So I think it would be that would be the venue if I had to pick. Right. But it's definitely be in New York. Why not? You know, um uh, that, you know, Jarrell, big baby Miller challenging Anthony Joshua. Hey, I'm OK with that. One hundred percent. Why not? Um, moving on towards the interview, they asked him about Tyson Fury, you know, and they asked Anthony Joshua, like, hey, you know, can Tyson Fury move? You know, and he was like, well, you know, I mean, all oh, like this, you mean, you know what I mean? And he was like. I like Canelo's movement. I like Mike Tyson's movement. I like Edis Landis Lada's movement. You know, I like how those guys move. Like Lomachenko's movement. But Tyson Fury, no, not really. You know, I don't really respect that type of movement. You know, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't, he doesn't really slip punches like those particular guys that he mentioned that he does admire. You know what I mean? So he really, you know, it's it's that prestige way of answering questions that gets me. You know what I'm saying? So it's not really what he said is what he didn't say. You know what I mean? So it was cool. Um, But besides that, you know, he was basically talked about, you know, legacy and, you know, being great. And what do you got to do to be great? You know, and believing in yourself, you know, stuff of inspiration. So it was a good interview. You know what I mean? So this makes the fifth interview that I had to discuss. And the importance of this, it's not about the same old, same old. Sure, they talked about that in that interview. But of course, we've talked about that enough. So I'm exhausted. You know what I mean? So, yeah, you guys check out um, <clears throat> the link below. Of course, tell me what you think about this particular video. Please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.